They say Hollywood is all about the numbers. Box office receipts, record sales, overnight ratings. Well, with this year's Oscar nominations finally announced, all sorts of records were broken. Oscars so white, more like Oscars done a bit more right. Am I right? Now let's take a look at both the surprises and the snubs and break it down by the numbers, famous entertainment style. At number 10 is Mank, leading all the nominees with 10 nods including Best Picture, Director, Actor, and in a category which sees Amanda Seyfried scoring her first nomination, Best Supporting Actress. Interestingly enough, Seyfried is the second member of the Mean Girls Plastics crew following Rachel McAdams to score an acting nomination. Sorry, Linz. Why don't I know you? At number 9, a record 9 people of color are nominated this year in the acting category. These include Steven Yeun, Riz Ahmed, and the late Chadwick Boseman as Best Actor, Viola Davis and Andre Day as Best Actress, Daniel Kaluuya, Leslie Odom Jr., and Lakeith Stanfield as Best Supporting Actor, and Yoon Yoo Young as Best Supporting Actress. Lakeith is also double nominated both for acting and songwriting in the same year, joining recent double nominees Mary J. Blige, Lady Gaga, and Cynthia Erivo. At number 8, the long overdue Glenn Close scores her 8th career nomination, landing in the Best Supporting Actress category for the critically panned Hillbilly Elegy. While some critics have praised her performance as the real life matriarch Mama, she's had a hard road ahead as she's also nominated for a Razzie for the very same performance. If she pulls off the Oscar win, she'll make history. I'm not gonna be ignored, Dan. At number 7, the number of personal snubs we found amongst the list of confirmed nominees. Take a seat. This may take a while. First off, Regina King in the Best Director category for One Night in Miami. If nominated, she would have become the first black woman ever nominated in this category. Still, this is her first directed feature film, so she will have many chances in the future. King continues to be our queen. Delroy Lindo in Best Actor for The Five Bloods. Despite rave reviews and awards from critics for his performance as a Vietnam vet in Spike Lee's Netflix film, he failed to score a nomination, adding to his Golden Globe and SAG Awards snubs. Bill Murray in Best Supporting Actor for On the Rocks. Some thought the funny man would score his second career nomination for his performance in Sofia Coppola's family comedy. Instead, the On the Rocks buzz has officially melted. Just pour us another one. Raise your hand if that sounds fishy. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Despite a 90% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes and nominations in the leading acting categories for frontrunners Chadwick Boseman and Viola Davis, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom failed to top the nominations for Best Picture. Aaron Sorkin as Best Director for The Trial of the Chicago 7. A previous Oscar winner for The Social Network screenplay, this was Sorkin's best chance yet at a directing nod. But all is not lost, he still has a very good chance of winning his second screenplay statue for Seven. Jodie Foster for Best Supporting Actress for The Mauritanian. Despite her surprise Golden Globe win in this same category last month, the two-time Oscar winner failed to add a fifth career nomination for this political drama. Foster's Oscar hopes are officially in memoriam. And finally, Michelle Pfeiffer in the Best Actress category for French Exit. Last year, some Oscarologists speculated the three-time nominee could possibly, maybe, finally win for this quirky comedy. But then, well, the film opened to mixed reviews. She lost the Golden Globe to Rosamund Pike, and very quickly, the French Exit star exited the race. Maybe Bruno Mars can include her in another song to cheer her up. Okay, back to the actual nominees. At number 6 is the number of career nominations Sir Anthony Hopkins now has thanks to his Best Actor nod as an Alzheimer's patient in The Father. It's been almost 30 years since his first Tasty nomination brought him what is still his only win. Can you guess what role that was, Clarice? He really chewed the scenery. At number 5, the number of nominations that the uncompromising drama Promising Young Woman received, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Actress for transformative Carrie Mulligan. Despite its candy-colored veneer, this indictment on culture is thought-provoking and continues to linger long after our first viewing. At number 4, Viola Davis makes history as the most Oscar-nominated black actress, scoring her fourth career nomination as the title character in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. 
With this nod, the Oscar winner surpasses her help co-star Octavia Spencer, who has three career noms. And if she wins, she'll be the only black actress with two acting Oscars. At number three, the late Chadwick Boseman will become only one of three actors to win a posthumous statue if he succeeds in the Best Actor category. If Boseman does win, he'll join previous winners Peter Finch for Best Actor in Network, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not gonna take this anymore! And Heath Ledger for Best Supporting Actor in The Dark Knight. Hi. It'll be a fitting tribute for a legend lost too soon. At number two, just because, two separate achievements. First, two is the number of female directors nominated this year, Chloe Zhao for Nomadland, and Emerald Fennell for Promising Young Woman. And while we are happy to say that this is a historic showing, sadly, it's only two. Still, progress continues to be made, with Zhao the favorite to take this category. Also at number two, the number of black women nominated in the Best Actress category, Viola Davis and Andra Day. The last time this happened was almost 50 years ago when the late Cicely Tyson and Diana Ross both competed. Interestingly, this year's Day and 1973's Ross both played the same person, legendary singer Billie Holiday. At number one, two separate number ones, both nominated in the category of Best Actor. While most of us best know Steven Yeun for battling zombies for many seasons in The Walking Dead, it's his touching turn as an immigrant Korean father raising his family in 1980s America in Minari that is garnering raves and awards attention and makes him the first Asian actor to be nominated in this category. Also in the same category, Riz Ahmed. The Star Wars Rogue One actor also makes history as the first Muslim to be nominated for his performance as a punk metal drummer experiencing hearing loss in Sound of Metal. While Chadwick looks to be a lock in this category, we think Riz definitely has an opportunity to surprise. And if he does, the Emmy winner will be adding an Oscar to an already quickly growing award show. What do you think about this year's nominations and about our favorites? Did the Academy get it right? Will you be tuning into the Oscars? And how many of the nominated films have you already seen? Be sure to like this video and leave your comments for us below.